Hey everyone, and welcome back to Esther NJ. I do hope you're well. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can deal with challenging circumstances. No matter who you are, remember that there are always going to be other people around you who are going through challenging circumstances. And until we remove the lie of I'm the only one going through this and no one understands, you will always assume and think that you are alone. Everyone you see making something happen, making a difference, making a change, adding value in society, already knows what it is to be in a challenging situation. It could be a mindset block. It could be a writer's block. I remember going to an event on Monday gone. Three events to be precise, but all had different purposes. Some of them challenged me more than others. And what I gained from these events is resilience, being able to overcome, being able to transform your mind, being able to invest in yourself, in your future, in your well-being. The circumstances that we face should never stop us from believing in the best. You may be a business owner right now, trying to look for funding, but no matter where you look, you're always getting rejected. Or you may be applying for a job right now, whether it's full-time or part-time, to support what you do, but it's not working. And every time you're trying, you're always getting knocked back. But there's a key lesson from those challenges. And what it's trying to prepare you and teach you for is what you're seeking for is in those challenges. You may not realise that challenges trigger you into greatness. Now, when people say that they're triggered, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them. It means that there's something deep within them that they desire to see change. If you're triggered by your circumstances, that's a wake-up call. You don't want to be in the same place that you were last year. You want to go higher. And the only way that you can go higher is when you acknowledge the challenges in front of you. If you don't acknowledge what you go through, you will never learn how to move on and understand that where you are isn't meant to hurt you, but it's meant to keep you going forwards. Every time a challenge appears and it blocks your future or it blocks where you're going, that's an opportunity for you to ask yourself, what did I learn in this situation? What can I do to improve? You may apply for a great job that took hours to apply for, and unfortunately you didn't get it. Yes, most organizations don't give feedback, but what can you do about your own response? How can you actually overcome that rejection by being stronger and learning and adapting? And not only that, why don't you use that rejection to create something that you love? Why not use that rejection to find your passion and fuel that up for other people to invest in that? When you're always focused on one route, you will always get one route back. And this leads me onto the importance of giving and servitude. In challenging circumstances, the greatest test of all is when you don't have enough and you are still able to give. And I'm not just referring to finances, although this is a very big part of when it comes to giving, but it's also important to give your time, visit your neighbour, volunteer at a local event, all these things that will enable you to get your mind off yourself and focusing on other people. Do you know that true joy comes when you serve others? And I'm not referring to burning out or people pleasing, but genuinely being there for someone when they are in need. Because when they do get up again, they will remember that you were there for them. So you have to remember this every single day of your life, that the challenges that you go through are there to help you to serve someone else. If you keep trying to fix your problems alone, you can only go so far. All roads cannot lead to you. So the challenges that you go through, you need to speak to someone. From a business perspective, if you have a mentor, which I highly recommend for those who do not have one, please invest in mentorship. Invest in someone that is higher than you, that can see you through, that can give you advice on where you need to be. Don't always think you can do things on your own. Because if you keep thinking that you can do things on your own, every result will lead to you and there's no delegation and there's no words of wisdom from other people that can serve you and support you in the season that you are in. If you're always angry with yourself and you always stay low and you don't want to learn from others or you're arrogant and you say to other people, don't worry, I'll be fine, I can do it all, I don't need you, 
you're really at a breakdown and you need to acknowledge that. And one of the things that I must say is when you acknowledge your circumstances, you actually are saying that I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to change because I'm tired of the situation I'm in. You can't say that 2020 hasn't taught you something about pivoting or transforming or evolving. Everybody has had to pivot. Whether it's been on furlough, you had to pivot. Whether it's running a business, you had to pivot. Whether it's volunteering for a local community centre, you had to pivot. Whether it's adjusting your lifestyle changes, you had to pivot. Most of the events that are now available are in person. So there really is no excuse to say that you can't network anymore. Yes, some are online, but to engage with other people, you also need to put yourself out there. And I know it may be intimidating or nerve wracking, but think about the value that you already have that other people may need. You may know someone right now that is in a challenging situation and they know that you have what can help them. But because you're seeing yourself from the perspective of lack or I don't have this, I don't have enough resources, everywhere I'm going, I'm being rejected. That's when it becomes an issue. You can't keep depending on what was working in the past and think that what was working before is going to work now. Change is attractive. Change is inevitable. And through change, you are able to make changes to your circumstances. You are able to grow and say, I am better than this. If you allow everything that you go through to challenge you and break you off course and make you lose who you are, you will stay where you are. Because as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So you have to remember that the thoughts that you carry really does have an effect on your environment and those around you. You can't be upset when other people are doing well in their lanes, when they've made the decision to invest in themselves and to be better. Rather, you should humble yourself and learn from those who are doing better and ask them for help and assistance, especially if they're not in your field. I love learning from people who don't necessarily write books or are storytellers. I like to learn from different people from all walks of life because I can learn a lot. And through that knowledge that I'm learning, I'm applying it into my own business and my personal endeavours. So every circumstance that you face is really preparing you for what you're asking for. You want to go higher? Be prepared for the challenges. If you can't handle the small challenges now, don't ask for the big ones later. Don't think that you can run away from the circumstances of your life, but learn from them and embrace them when they come. Don't see it as, my goodness, is this for me? Should I do it? Is it worth it? Am I going to waste my time? You will not know unless you try. And even when you try and it doesn't work, you can look back and say, I am so thankful that I did something. It is better to try something and fail than not to try something at all and regret. Because you never know that one thing that failed in the end will turn out for your good. When challenging circumstances appears, it's to prepare you because what you thought you needed then is ready to now find you. So don't believe in the lies of, I can't make it, I cannot do it, it's hard, I don't have the resources, I don't have the time. If you love something that you're passionate about, it will be successful when you put in the time. Passion and time equates to success, but it's about patience, utilising your time wisely, delegating yourself to other people, asking for assistance, not being afraid to be around like-minded people, and more importantly, asking the relevant questions. Now, I'm learning how to embrace challenges, and as I'm getting wiser, I'm learning that the challenges also reveal character traits of myself. It's revealing the parts of me that I like and the parts of me that I need to improve. And in particular, personal development. So remember that when you are in a season of transition and growth, you have to be intentional about your mind and about how far you want to go by adapting to the right people. Great opportunities do take time. But what makes it sweeter is when you can learn in the process of those challenges and when you don't hide yourself from situations that cause you to feel like nothing is happening. And another thing to add on to this is that your feelings cannot be trusted when you are in testing times because it will tell you you cannot do it. What's the point? Give up and do something mediocre. This is not the year of mediocrity. 
It's the year of development, the year of growth, the year of possibilities, the year of evolving and transforming and renewing your mind. You want more resources, but how is your mind towards those resources? You want more favour, but are you declaring it over your life? Are you speaking good of yourself? It's really important that you remember that it's your words that you say that bring about what you have and who you are. So don't blame the person next door because they're making it. Remember, we never know what people go through to get to where they are today. You may be looking at someone right now and thinking, why does it look so easy for them? But if you take the time to humble yourself and ask, what did you do to get to this level? They will tell you their story. Maybe not all, but at least you can get a glimpse of what they've had to go through. And I'm not saying that you have to go through challenging times to always see your breakthrough. But I believe that it is the route to enable that breakthrough to come to fruition. Because if everything was easy, you will take it for granted. If you got everything easy and you didn't have to work for it and you didn't have to sweat or you didn't have to put in the effort, you will take it for granted. And it's not just resources, but it's also people because you know that someone's always going to love you. So you just walk all over them? No, because that is a circumstance to them that they have to deal with. And one day they'll say, I'm bigger than this. I've done my part. I need to now move on in love to protect my well-being." So don't take people for granted and don't take advantage of the resources that are around you. Maximise every opportunity because you just don't know what opportunity will be that open door that will allow you to move forwards. So this video is to remind you that challenging circumstances, although they don't last, you have to last. You have to not allow what you go through to dictate where you're going. You don't have to feel insignificant because you don't have something. Everyone is going to shine in their own way. And it starts with a thought. It starts with an intentional mindset. So I want this video to remind you daily that you are valuable, but you need to embrace the challenges that come your way, no matter how big or small. Great blessings take time. And when you understand this, you will learn how to lean in to the challenges and not try and run away from them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do believe that it has inspired you. And if you know anyone that's going through a challenging season at this time, please do send them this video and allow them to be inspired and blessed as you were. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.